Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo laptop. This one is a Lenovo E14 and this one comes with an iCore 5, some of them come with an iCore 7 and these are really from the box, really slow laptops and the reason is because of the mechanical hard drive that they do have them in there. Some people do get them with an SSD drive and some don't. For those people that they have it with a mechanical drive only, you can actually upgrade them or add an additional SSD drive in there which will make it way way tremendously really fast and you still can preserve your mechanical hard drive as a secondary storage. I'm gonna go open it up and show you guys what are the combination that you can have, what are the best combination that you should have in here. And again, before we do anything like this, you wanna always back up your files, save it on the cloud or external storage. Those are because once you replace the hard drive or add a hard drive, it's really highly recommended that you format the laptop and you install fresh install of the Windows. Do not do any cloning because cloning does not give you the best results. You do get some crashes, some errors here and there, and we have tried it on with many different cloning programs. So the best thing is how to uh, is to format. I'll leave the link on a video description. How to create your Windows 10 USB boot drive is the same thing for Windows 11 in case you want and I'll make another video how to properly install your Windows on this laptop. Again, those links can be found on my video description. So let's get it started. I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one, it's a screwdriver set. I'll be using a iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. These are made out of S2 class steel. You're gonna be using a Phillips number one. If you get a pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and a few other stuff. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. So I get myself one of these. And with all this on hand, we're gonna get it started. Also again, you need your mechanical hard drive, SSD, which I'll go over. So on the bottom of the cover here, once you power it up, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. The screws, they do have a C lock on them. That means on that side of the screw, there's a little tiny C metal sheet that it will prevent the screw coming out entirely. So all you have to do is to rotate, rotate, until you feel it that it's already loose. And you wanna do this to all the screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys out to do your own upgrades, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, now that we unscrewed everything here, we're gonna, let me see if you guys can see it in the camera. Uh, if it's gonna focus here or there. So I think it should focus right over here. So we're gonna stick the guitar pick between the palm rest and the bottom cover, and we're gonna twist it outward just like this. Uh, we're gonna hit tiny clicks and right there, and you wanna do this all around in the front end. Work yourself to the front and the side. You can do the back end too, but I rather do only the front and the sides. So I'm gonna work myself right here. And once I did the front and the side, I'll put the laptop down, face down. Grab the front cover that I loosen up and bring it up and wiggle it around slowly, and it will release the back clip right there all right right over here we can see the hard the big battery and we can see the mechanical hard drive right over here you want to grab a little uh, tweezers curved tweezers is easy so we can see right away there's an m.2 slot right over here and they do actually provide you with a screw for m.2 this is a pci express so it's an nvme slot right over here and this is the mechanical drive, which is comes with an adapter connected to here. To remove the mechanical drive, all you need to do is to lift up this trigger 90 degree upward and slide back in 45 degree angle the flex cable. You do not need to remove the battery at all. It's absolutely not necessary to disconnect the battery, but if you do want to, just pull the trigger backward. But it's absolutely not necessary. To remove the mechanical drive, just lift it up from the front end, bring it backward. So there we have it. This is a Western Digital Blue, one terabyte. There's a little adhesive on this side of the flex cable. Um, plug it and don't pull on the cable, just pull on the adapter sides and it will come out. Let's say that you wanna upgrade this one to a two terabyte uh, mechanical drive. You can do it, just pretty much grab any 
low profile. This is a tech profile, it has to be a low profile. I'll leave the link. Or any other uh, 2.5 SSD, all the SSDs are too, uh, low profile. So, what you want to do, you want to remove this plastic carry. Just there's no screw, just pull it out to the side and bring it like that. You don't need this foil tape or anything like that. Now, just remember the positioning the SATA cable is right over here, the power connector is right away on the other side. So, if whatever hard drive you put in here, the SSD or another mechanical drive, they all have to have the same orientation. So pretty much what you want to do, you want to put this one to one side and put the SSD in there and just squeeze it right through there and right there. And put the adapter right over and put the back side down, bring it down. And in 45 degree angle, you want to slide down the flex cable all the way. Make sure the earlobes are inside and then you just want to lock it down. That's how you upgrade them. 2.5 inch SSD or mechanical hard drive right on this page. I recommend you guys in here to place a one terabyte or two terabyte low profile mechanical drive for a big movies or big programs that you want to have because mechanical drives are really secure. So I recommend you guys to put a mechanical hard drive in here. So let's put this main one back. So this was for demonstration. And we're going to go over the M.2. So imagine this is your two terabyte, put it down, squeeze it all the way down. In a 45 degree angle, you want to slide this jack all the way in. And you want to lock it down. For M.2 SSD, you can grab any brand Kingston. This is a 256 gig Kingston NVMe. You can put up to four terabyte or two terabyte in here, that's fine. All you need to do is to unscrew the screw that they provide you on the back, put it on side and bring this one in down. We make sure the notch matches the notch right over here in 45 degree or I'll say 35 degree, push it all the way in, bring it down, make sure the screw hole really matches right there and you wanna screw it down. So put it down there and Screw it down there. Once you did this one, um, then when you want to install the windows on the partition side, you want to choose this one for your windows and leave this one uh, formatted and leave it blank for a storage. All right, and this is for demonstration, I'm just actually going to do it. So I'm just going to remove it. I made a video how to install in here. Watch that video that shows you how to install it on M.2. All right. And once you upgrade down everything you did down here, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, set it down, push the side, the middle, roll it down, make sure you those tiny clicks. And the last thing would be to just tighten up the screws that you removed. I mean, you loosen it up on the bottom cover. Again, installing Windows, it takes only five to 10 minutes and you do Windows update, all the drivers and everything else will be installed automatically. And regarding your Windows license key, don't worry if you do. If you have installed uh, logged in with your Microsoft account to your old Windows that you had on the old hard drive, the license key transfers to your account. And once you log in with your account in the new installed Windows, then you will be automatically activated. Again, if you guys have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.